Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to the segmentation and the sampling of moving object trajectory based on the representativeness. By this concept, we have implementing the real or synthetic data set as a spatio-temporal content. The spatio-temporal content can be re representing the MOD of a data sets. In this paper, we have implementing two methodologies. One is trajectory segmentation and another one is sampling based on the representativeness. These two methodologies are representing the subtrajectorized MOD of a norms. In order to find the most representative subtrajectories, we have proposed these methodologies. For this concept, we have implementing two algorithms. One is novel global voting algorithm and another one is novel segmentation algorithm. Novel global voting algorithm representing the most local trajectories of a descriptor and also the sequence of descriptor over the trajectory based on the voting signal of trajectory whether the high value responds to the most representative part and then segmentation algorithm representing the number of partitions and also identifying the homogeneous partition of the concerning representativeness after this two methodology implementation we have implemented the sampling method by this sampling method the resulting segmentation yields can be most represented by the subtrajectorized MOD. The subtrajectorized MOD can also be recognized as a partitioned sector. The real or synthetic data set of a real MOD, effectiveness of a proposed scheme can be re represented norms with the sampling technique. By this sampling technique, we have choosing the most representative norm of the data set. Next, we move on to the data flow diagram for this paper. First of all, we need to collect the resource sectors for this moving object data set. The moving object data set can be a real or synthetic data only. And then, we need to find the voting signal from the resource sectors. The voting signal can be recognized and then, then it can be moved on to the segmentation process. The segment, from the segmentation process, we need to partition out the sector through the TS algorithm. The TS algorithm performed the uh, segmentation process. After the segmentation process is completed, we need to find the most representative norms through the sampling technique. The sampling technique finding the most representative norm from the resource sectors. From after the sampling technique proceeded, we need to track the object of a particular specifier. From the object tracking, we need to find the performance evaluation of the both segmentation and sampling sectors. Now we are going to see about the whole demo of the process. First of all, we need to load the data set. The data set of the synthetic or real data set can be declined um, by us. We need to specify that on here. I need to load this data set here. After that proceed, uh, first of all we need to load the data set and then for the segmentation process, here the trajectory segmentation can be proceeded with intrinsic parameter sectors. For the segmentation, uh, the segmentation file is created, the XML and Java.NET. Under this category, the file can be created. Mm. After that proceeded, we need to give a one file name as a, for a text file creation. Uh, I need to create a, a resource as a file name, resourced. Uh, after that choose some category here. After that finding the voting signal for this category. If we clicking this voting, we need we get a voting signal for this PHP, PHP category. After that, here we getting the globalized voting signal. After that, we proceed for the partitioning sector. The segmentation sector have a representativeness. To find the representativeness, we use two parameters. L and T have been specified here as the normal vectors of PK. PK is representing the segmentation vector, and then the maximization uh, of the two signaling between the partition vector can be showered here after that the satisfied sampling processes proceeded here the sampling processes 
defining the from the PHP category we have find the most no, representative norm of uh, one site and then we f here we find we get a sampling set after that uh, for the sampling set we need to find the maximization range uh, for this function we use a vector of uh, is our max set our maximization of VPI and VPK here sampling vector representing the one only one sectors uh, under the category for each Java XML and also PHP the same functioning of sampling set can be declined and also it can be proceeded for a tracking object the this form frame loads to the temporal tracking of a synthetic set I choose one uh, IP address uh, here from that IP address I trace a whole whole uh, data sets of this details uh, from this IP address uh, uh, they they sectorize the PHP for this site uh, and the date of 1 6 2012 uh, the object can be tracked finally here and then for the whole retrieval process uh, we have a graph of a performance evaluation under the se for segmentation we need to prove that first the segmentation process is proceeded here in the existing system TF optics can be implemented now trackless concept is implemented for the representative partitions now we are from the trackless concept we partition the sector based on the specifiers uh, but in the existing system we they, they partitioned the sectors as a off, off of between the sectors mm. and then now we are getting the sampling graph this is an accurate sampling result for now we are implementing VPK method in the previous existing system k-means method is implemented for accuracy but that's not accurate uh, identification of a representative norms now we are implementing VPK method it can give the accurate result for the measuring of the most representative norm from the synthetic or real data set